Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this next lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about doing something like this. We're going to move text along an invisible path. So how do we do this? First, what we're going to do is we're going to create the text like we've been doing in this section. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a path, an invisible path that we're going to assign the text to. So we're telling the text, okay, move along this path. And then we're going to tell it how fast to move it. So let's get started. So if we delete this text and let's just create some new text. So I'm going to hit the text tool and just create something. I'm going to say just earth. Keep it simple. So we can customize this in any way. Uh, we can change the font, change the size, and change the color. Um, so let's get a little funky and change this to, I don't know, let's pick a color, something we can see. White, white looks good. So we're just going to keep it simple, but it looks good with this graphic. So if I select our text, we have to have this selected, and we go up to the pen tool. That's how we're going to create a custom path that is connected to our text. So if I start down here, what I did, I, I do want to say this real quick, just so I'm not confusing anyone. I started here, and I went around the earth, but I do want to kind of switch it up a little bit. I don't want to create the same uh, kind of effect, because I want to show that um, this is so customizable, and you can create any kind of path. Um, so actually, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here, and I'm going to kind of swing around so the path kind of crosses itself. So I'm going to click down here, and then I'm going to click here and drag. So I'm holding shift to make sure that we're only uh, going up, and it's snapping to the straight up and down position. And then I'm going to click the top and drag to give myself a little bit of a curve. And then on the right side, do the same thing, holding shift. And then I'm going to click this side. Now one thing I do want to emphasize is you don't want to close your path, because if you do that, um, you're creating a mask and if you create a mask you're pretty much cutting out your text and that's not what we're going for here so I'm gonna undo that here so all we did was we created a path not a mask so if I hit my selection tool we can customize this path a little bit so I can drag a point and move it around so how do we assign the text to the path so if I go down and click this uh, down arrow and hit text, the down arrow there, and path options, down arrow again. Now we can tell the text what path to follow. So it's mask one. There we go. So now we can see that the text automatically just snapped to our path. So let's scale this up. So now we can see that the path is technically invisible, but it is there, it, and the text is following it. So. We have a whole bunch of different options. We have first margin, last margin, uh, force alignment, perpendicular to path, reverse path. So let's just go through these. Reverse path, what it's going to do is it's going to flip on the opposite side. It's going to reverse it. Um, but we don't want that, so we're going to keep that off. Perpendicular to path right now is on, so it's going to be in alignment with the curve of the path. If we turn that off, we can see that each letter is just straight up and down. Well that might be what you're going for in some instances but right now that that looks just hokey that doesn't look any good so I'm going to keep that on force alignment if we turn that off or if we turn that on I mean right now we have uh, E A R T H it's going around the entire thing and if I were to select our path whoop, I'm sorry if, if I were to select the path and move it, we can see that it is um, forcing it to be along the entire path, which is also something we don't want. So I'm just going to undo and turn that off. Now, our first alignment is where the text starts. So really, that's what we want to work with right now. So we're dragging that all the way off screen, and I'm going to hit a keyframe and move forward in time and drag that to the point where we want it and honestly right now 
I know that I'm going to want it at zero. So I'm just going to type in zero. Now we have this little movement. Perfect. All right, so we want it to stay there for like a second or so, maybe not even a second, just to show that we can see Earth um, and we can actually read it. And then we're going to hit another keyframe and then move forward in time just a little more and take this puppy off the screen. There we go. So we're just in timing just a little bit. Now let's watch it. Awesome. All right, now one thing I did notice is that our Earth isn't, well, our word Earth isn't center over our actual globe here. So one thing that we want to keep in mind is that we got to make sure that our center point, the point that we created, is directly over it. So we can adjust that. And it looks like that's doing pretty well. The only thing that we also need to keep in mind is that this is when it's set to zero, when our keyframe is set to zero, our text is going to be in the very center of our path. So what's actually happening is a little problem down here. So if I were to move this and make sure that um, it is the same length as this side, then you can see our Earth starts to move towards the center. There we go. So like I said, we can move our path and the earth is going to move along with it or the text I don't know why I keep saying the earth but the text is gonna move along with it there we go so now our earth text is in the center so one couple last things I want to do just to polish this up a little bit is I want to select both of these keyframes and right click and go to keyframe assistant and easy ease so what it's gonna do is it's going to slow down once it gets to that point and it's going to start up slow and then increase speed as it goes away and the last thing I want to do is I want to turn on motion blur so if we jump to about here where there is actual motion and we turn on motion blur we can see uh, the motion we can see the blur that it adds so that is pretty much the last thing we need to do so if I hit play There we go. Looks good. So that is how we move text along a path. All right. Well, I will see you guys in the next lesson.